everyone, welcome to the Furia Guide for Season 3. This guide will be made for beginner and more intermediate players, but there will for sure be tips and tricks for the most experienced Furia players. I plan to do more of these in the coming weeks, starting with all the supports, and then I can move to tank or damages just depending on what you guys want to see. With me having more time with changing my stream schedule, these will go out one to two times a week, as well as ranked videos, challenge videos, and all that good stuff. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy this content. Without further ado, let's go over what we'll be talking about in this video. In this guide, we're going to be going over Furia's basic playstyle, her abilities and talents, items and builds, counters and strengths, and finally, tips and tricks. With all these, I plan to spread in a bunch of tips, a bunch of tricks overall, but the final section will be the main and interesting tips and tricks that you guys always ask me to see. So without further ado, let's talk about her basic playstyle. And now for Furia's basic playstyle. She is a hybrid support. We like to call her the Jack of all trades, master of none. She has good damage, healing, and utility. She's a burst healer with the capability of turning a fight single-handedly with her damage because of her passive attack speed and her ultimate buff to herself. She has the potential to be more aggressive than any other support, but there is a fine balance with her between not giving that one last heal to an ally and eliminating all of your enemies yourself. Now, let's go ahead and talk abilities and talents. First things first, let's talk about her auto attack or her weapon, her pyre blade. This deals 330 damage every 0.5 seconds. Fun fact, this weapon is also a shotgun, so you can watch Furious or play Fury yourself and not actually aim at the enemy, but aim kind of off to the side and you will still find hits with it. Kindle Soul. This is an auto aim heal that does 1000 burst healing then 400 over 2 seconds. This is what makes her a burst healer. All of her healing is up front and then barely any over time. This ability does like to clip on teammates you are not intending to heal, so be careful whenever you're aiming that heal because I've had so many times where I want to heal somebody and save them and then a teammate barely gets in my line of sight and the heal ends up going to them. So be careful with this ability, it is kind of funky sometimes. Wings of Wrath, her moving ability. Travel backwards a short distance and shoot out three balls doing 200 damage apiece. These will track down enemies that are not in cover. So whenever you use this dash, three balls will shoot out and if they see an enemy, they will chase them. If that enemy hides behind a wall, they will go ahead and keep chasing them, but will break whenever they hit the wall. This ability can be used to propel yourself forward by doing a 180 before you use it. I know this seems like a simple concept, but some people I see don't actually use this to full effectiveness. And at the end, we actually have a tip for that. Whenever you want to go aggressive, just turn around, press your F, and then turn back around 180 and boom, you've gone forward. You can now frag all of your enemies. Now her Q is Pyre Strike. It's a beam that goes in a straight line that stuns enemies that come in contact with it. It does 400 damage to the enemies it hits and they take an additional 20 damage every 0.05 seconds they are in it. This goes through everything in the game. There is nothing that can stop a Pyre Strike. You can throw it through Atlas Wall, you can throw it through any wall in the game and find an enemy on the other side. This is very useful for when you're using Solar Blessing and it is very useful when you need to find a stun on an enemy to save an ally. In Flame, Furia's ultimate, her bread and butter. You become CC, so crowd control anything from a Nara ult to Damba ult, damage immune for a short duration. Afterwards, you give all of your allies, including yourself, around you within 200 units, 300% increased weapon damage and movement speed for 8 seconds. With this ultimate, you can buff all allies and yourself with 30% extra damage and movement speed. This ultimate is so good for Furia. This ultimate does go through walls, so if you see an ally or you have allies all over you but none of them have line of sight on you, that means they can see you, not through a wall, but they can see your actual character. You can still hit them with your ultimate. Try not to use this ultimate to save yourself but it is a good get out option if you're being dove and you need those couple of seconds to stay alive and for a teammate to react and help you feel free to use this ultimate to get out but typically you want to save this for a good moment when your team is aggressing and finally for her abilities let's talk about her passive her passive is healing allies generates wrath which increase your fire rate and decays over time there's three different bars of wrath three different levels 
This attack speed is very, very important for Furia. She needs this attack speed to really frag out properly. As soon as you fill up this bar, it almost never decays as long as you're putting a heal on an ally every like six or seven seconds. This passive is honestly the most broken part about Furia, and in my opinion, needs to be nerfed in the future. Take advantage of this. Use this to frag out and keep an eye on it. It'll be on the bottom left of your screen. Now let's talk about Furious talents. The first one being Cherish. Kindle Soul now heals 25% additional health based on the ally's missing health and the range is increased by 300%. This is a very good option for long range burst healing. I consider this her main healing talent. It allows Fury to thrive the most by opening up her beam to stun enemies. It also adds 300% increased on the range so you can save those pesky flankers. And if you would like to see a full breakdown between Cherish and Solar Blessing as healing talents for Furia, I do have a video on that so please look up in the I section above and I'll put the video there if you want to see the comparison and what I think is better and why. Next is Solar Blessing. When Pyre Strike comes in contact with an ally, it stops and heals them for 150 health every 0.05 second or 3000 health a second. This is a close second option for Furia and healing. This talent is viable, but I feel like it limits her capabilities as a true support. Exterminate, or what we like to call the redheaded stepchild of Furia's talent. When Pyre Strike comes in contact with an enemy, it stops and does not stop until it ends. So what we talked about earlier with Pyre Strike, it does 20 damage every 0.05 seconds. This helps get that damage off. This is more of a Mimi talent. It is fun to use, don't get me wrong, but it really isn't viable as a DPS talent, a healing talent, or any talent if you're trying to win games. Now, let's go ahead and discuss Furia's items and builds. First being items. Furia likes a multitude of different items because she has a hybrid support, but there are two main ones that really, really help her propel as a damage and a support, those being Kronos and Morale Boost. With the changes to Furia in Season 3, I find Kronos to be a better first item on her and then getting a Morale Boost later as you need it. I typically go Kronos 2, sometimes Kronos 3, depending on if we're winning or not, and if the game goes late. Morale Boost, I typically stop at 2 or 3, but again, Inflame is one of the best ultimates in the game, so Morale Boost and Kronos are two items you can go ahead and max until the end of the game. After you have maxed them, you can move on to these situational items you can get for Furia. The only exception to that is with some of these situational items, you do need before you max those two if you're getting Dove, crowd controlled, etc. I will explain those here now. Haven. If the enemy has a lot of direct damage, if you're being dove by champions such as Androxus, Maeve, Haven is a good choice early before you max Kronos, before you max Morale Boost to make sure you can stay alive. Blast Shield. If the enemy has a lot of blast damage, examples Drogos, Bomb King, Lee, and. Now, this is a really good option if you're being dove by certain tanks like Ash, Ruckus. Since a lot of Ruckus' damage comes from his rockets, now since it's been changed, Blast Shield's is a good option against him. Resilience. If the enemy has a lot of crowd control, examples, Damba ult, Nara ult, Pip ult, Ash ult, you name it. Mave ult even. Resilience will really help you stay alive because Furia's biggest weakness, which we'll talk about later, is being dope. Kill to heal. This is usually a card that I buy very, very late, but it honestly really helps on supports. When you heal somebody and they get a kill, you can elim for that. And the way kill to heal work is you get 200 health for an elim. So you're healing an ally, they frag out and get a kill, you get that health. Again, this is a last item option. This isn't something I buy early over Resilience, Blast Shield, or Haven. Cauterize. For those times that your team doesn't know what Caught is. Sometimes your team doesn't like buying Cauterize. I don't know why, I'm gonna try to teach people this, but sometimes they don't buy Cauterize. So Cauterize can be a good option for Furia. Wrecker. If your team doesn't prioritize this versus Shields. Now, this one is more viable for Furia, let's say, because your teammates will typically buy Cauterize, you want to go your normal Kronos morale boost, but say the enemy has shield and your team is struggling to deal with them, you can go ahead and get a wrecker, one, two, or three to help support them busting down those pesky shields. Bulldozer. If the enemy has talent such as Cripple Nara, say an Amani Dragon, they have Io's Luna sitting on point, just capturing point time the whole time, or maybe an Arctectonics Barrack. Bulldozer is always a good option to take down these deployables and help your team out and support your team by any means necessary. Now let's discuss Furia's builds. First, let's go over Cherish. Cherish, I have two different builds for it because I have a selfish build and I have a team build, but this first one will be the selfish build. 
I feel like this build here, combined with Furia, is one of the best ways to carry ranked as a support. So if you want to get into ranked and you want to play supports and you want to carry the game, run this build, run Furia, run Cherish. Let's talk about this build. I run Incandescent Being 5. Increased health by 250. Burning Oath. Increase your heal from 525 over 3 seconds when you heal an ally with your Kindle Soul. Inner Fire. Generate 2 ammo when healing an ally with Kindle Soul. Pyretic Dynamo. Increase your max maximum animo by four. So these cards all pair together to give you high self-sustain, high health, and honestly, the capability completely frag out with that increased ammo. And then I run Light Forge. With all these builds, one point cards are, unless I say it's important to the build, they are flexible. So if you have a better one point card that you like more, feel free to run it. Now let's go over a build that focuses more on the team. I still run Burning Oath and Incandescent Being, but I run those at four. And then I run Light of Dawn 5 in place of the ammo on right click. This gives allies 250 health shield for 2 seconds when they're affected by Kindle Soul. This card has gotten more value this patch since the reduction of Wrecker. It hasn't gotten that much more value, but it has increased in value overall. We still run Pyretic Dynamo. I believe this is a one point card you should have in this build. But again, Light Forge is flexible. Feel free to do what you want with that slot. Solar Blessing. This build is something that's a little bit of flexible, a little bit flexible with the amount of points you put in each card. But I do think all these cards are very important to running an efficient Solar Blessing build. Stoke the Fire. Reduce cooldown of Pyre Strike by 2.4 seconds when successful hits by Wings of Wrath. Like we said earlier, Wings of Wrath shoots out three balls. When you hit one ball, it reduces the cooldown of your Q by 2.4 seconds. Increase the radius of Pyre Strike by 30%. This helps allies catch your beams earlier because we all know with Solar Blessing, allies don't like catching your beams. Burning Oath. Again, self-sustained for yourself. This card, or all these cards on supports are an extremely important set for supports to stay alive. Light Forge 5 with the changed in season 3 to light forge it now changed to hitting kindle soul reduce the cooldown of pyre strike by five seconds this effect can only happen every eight seconds so when you hit a right click it'll reduce it by five seconds your cue and it happens every eight seconds this is a very good card <laughs> super fun card to use and it helps solar blessing a lot Pyretic Dynamo, again, this is a one-point card that I would not change. And finally, let's talk about the meme dream talent itself, Exterminate. Okay, so I don't have an amazing build for Exterminate. I didn't put any time into making this build. I kind of threw it together when I was doing my build video. So Solar Flare 5, you want enemies to get caught by the uh, by the beam, so you make it bigger. Light Forge, you want more beams to hit them. Pyretic, again, an important one-point card. Burning Oath for the self-sustain and Ignition. Reduce the cooldown of Wings of Wrath by one second when hitting an enemy with Pyre Strike. It helps you get away more i guess i don't know that one point card can be traded out honestly exterminate is not something that is viable do not run exterminate please don't run exterminate unless you're having fun in like tdm or casuals besides that it is not a build to run now let's discuss furious counters and strengths now with counters there's not many this is one thing that makes furia very strong one thing she has to be very careful of is tank dive tank dives can easily get on furia and if a tank does get on furia there's almost nothing you can do unless you have one or two allies turning for you and helping you you have to almost alt out and reposition using it tank dive is something very scary and you have to keep an eye on and keep perceptive of and keep in the back of your head where the tanks are at all time in contrast to that her strength she's good against flankers she's good against flank dive in comparison with other supports now she doesn't counter flank dive but she can kill a lot of the flanks as long as she hits a lot of her shots say the enemy misses a shot you can win duels against flankers that is one of furious strongest strongest parts about her she's also very good with low pull health tanks now what does that mean? That means Barrack. Barrack has a low health pool. So does Torvald. When you have low health allies on your team, Fury can easily keep everybody topped off through the whole game using Cherish. And finally, she has a good ultimate for team comps that want to just hold W and get in the enemy's face and frag out. Fury's ultimate is one of the best in the game at doing so. Though, when you have a team that wants to sit back, say you have a Cassie, Shaolin, those are both champions that kind of sit back. You have a Barrack and Nara, Cassie Shaolin for an example. Furia sometimes isn't the best with those team compositions because of her ultimate really empowers go in comps, which equals, let's say, Barrack, Ruckus, a flanker, and a Cassie. So you have Androxus, Cassie, Barrack, Ruckus. That is a good team comp composition for Furia. And finally, let's talk about Furia's tips and tricks. 
This is one section that everybody has been asking for. There's things I do on Furia that people don't understand, so I will explain it here. But for this first part, let's go ahead and take it into game so I, I can explain it more. And here we are in game. Now, the first trick on Furia a lot of people ask for is how I get height on my ultimate. This is something people are very confused about, and I understand why. Now, the way you do it is first of all, you have to jump, okay? And on your momentum up, you press your ultimate what? button. So on your momentum sure up, you alt and you get no height. Mercy. Now, that wasn't very high. Let's go over this now. Wall jumping. Wall jumping is a mechanic in Paladins. Normal jump, wall jump. You go about twice the height. So, you can use the same premise as you did for the first jump with this. Sure. On the momentum up, you go no ahead and mercy. alt. Sorry, we went ahead and hit a slip on the wall there, but again, on the momentum sure up, you get no more height. Mercy. And if you time it properly, you can really get the maximum amount of height. I've gotten times where I have gone further sure than I even expect on no Furia. Mercy. And another thing with the ultimate, you can travel vertically uh, or horizontally while you're traveling vertically. So as you're going sure up, then. you go and travel no like this mercy. and get a bunch of distance with it as well. Now, let's talk about another trick. This is used on multiple champions. This is called moonwalking. So with Furia, when she dashes, as we talked about earlier, she shoots out these three balls. But let's say I want to go this way, right? But I also want to do damage to the enemies that I'm going this way against, right? I want to do damage to this victor. But if you're dashing forward, you can't do that. Well, yes, you can. So the way you do it, as you move backwards, you jump as you dash and you flick your mouse. It's as simple as that. Now, this is something you might have to get in the shooting range to practice for a little bit. You can jump, dash, flick your mouse. You don't even have to move backwards for it. Sometimes if you don't do it fast enough, not all three balls will come out, but that's as simple as that. Move backwards and all your, on your jump, you dash backwards and boom, all three balls. You kill this victor so much faster because that's a 600 burst damage. I use this trick all the time to surprise my enemies and honestly just frag them out because who expects a fury to come at you with a 600 burst and then a couple headshots with a shotgun. And some more tips for you. She is the best support when using Cherish and the selfish build to carry rank. Don't be afraid to test your limits in casuals and just try to frag out sometimes. Death shouldn't be a learning experience. It shouldn't be a bad thing every time. Watch high level Furia gameplay and learn. You can watch some high level Furia gameplay on this channel, but there are many people on Twitch and YouTube. You can watch Furia be played. And the final trip I would like to give is when you're playing aggressive on Furia, we talked about her passive earlier, but you wanna make sure that passive is full before you go aggressive. At the beginning of point fights, this passive will be empty. Make sure you fill it up by healing allies before you wanna go aggressive again furia is that hybrid support so she easily has the capabilities of going in but please if you go in without attack speed you will get fragged you will not get kills it'll feel awful so let the team fight ramp up just a little bit get one or two two heals off and then you can go in and just honestly kill everybody because that's what furia is good at i'd like to thank you all for watching this guide I know this is for more beginner and intermediate Furias. There's a lot of tips sprinkled around in this video that'll help even the most advanced Furias. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. If you'd like to see more of this content, I do plan on posting a guide once to twice a week now. This Furia one was just the base one I'd like to build off of. If you have any feedback, comments you'd like to leave down below, feel free, and I'll take it in and try to improve my guides with it. I hope you all enjoy your day, night, evening, morning, dawn, dusk, or whatever it is, you live and i will see you all in the next one later and a huge shout out to my members banana bob french fam 805 clayton nabitty dark phantom jay mason lane Sivas, raf just creepies biswa connor shadow and to all my other members thank you so much